right, the garage door is going up. Beautiful sunrise. We are, well, I'm going to take Abby to the orthodontist, start getting her braces, which is super exciting. So, uh, and then I'll take her to school. Then I'm going to try to do a little extra hunt, maybe a deal. So we'll see. But come along with us while well, Abby gets her first examination to start the process of getting the braces. So, cool. Got to unplug the car. All right, so I just dropped Abby off. She doesn't like to be on camera a lot, but I tried to get a little bit of going in. Um, they wouldn't let me go back, but they did the cool 3D scan of her of her uh, teeth and everything, which is really cool if you haven't seen anything like that. Um, now I am gonna go try to find what could be a cool little deal. <laughs> if I can find it, it's great. Uh, Dana will explain it. Anyways, bye. Not exactly the deal we thought. Yeah. Okay, so it's not the deal we originally thought um, that Dana saw. So, no more. We was going to do a Squishmallow haul because they were supposed to be like two bucks. But they are not. So, I don't know. I'm going to check and see if there's some other bin or something. But we'll see. But I'm going to check on a few other things. Some jelly, um, mayonnaise. <laughs> and Halloween costumes, so we'll see what I can find. Abby's appointment went as planned, but the other little errands have not. Um, Squash mallow thing didn't work out for Meyer. Did get some jelly and some things we need. Uh, I went to the party store. They're playing music in there, so I couldn't talk. But um, trying to find a scary outfit for this spook alley thing we're doing. And I'm kind of jumping from a platform down and then bouncing back. That's the idea right now. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to find something that will make like a really scary sound and of course a costume that will be scary um, dropping down from above kind of thing but I'm striking out I'm surprised I thought they would have more at the little party store here but yeah anyways I'm gonna head home see how Abby and Ashley are doing see if Ashley's up for school and um, go along with the rest of our day Hello. Thanks to him, I got to sleep in a little bit today, and this little one got to sleep in again today. She kind of looks the way she feels, a little bit disheveled, right? She's going to have that bagel, and then she's going to go back to bed. Um, and we're going to run an errand or two, um, and then come back home and be with her, and then we will go pick up Kaylee and take her for her MRI. And I just scheduled Abby's appointment, and unfortunately, our orthodontist office has branched out into their own company aside from like one that had multiple offices and so now they don't have appointments until next month it's like a whole month away it's actually the day before thanksgiving that abby can get her braces on and i don't even want to tell her <laughs> i don't want to tell her that she has to wait a whole month and also that she will just be eating mashed potatoes for thanksgiving dinner which we are hosting, I found out yesterday. Which, to be fair, she doesn't really like turkey, and she really likes jello, so it kind of works as her first meal <laughs> after getting braces. It just kind of stinks. Um, they're having homecoming week at school. Apparently yesterday was Hawaiian day, so I will hang that up for Kaylee. Today was yellow day. What was Abby needing no, the yellow for? Really dance, but she says she doesn't want that. Right, she got a shirt from me, so. Yeah. You want the, the lady? Okay. Someone's a happy man. Stock up time. How long's it good it's to? It's on rebate. Oh, oh, it's only good for one more day. Are you serious? 10, 16. I mean, it's stock up time. It's like cereal. 
All right. We um, had to kind of rush through Costco because we ended up running into our friends and uh, we haven't seen them for a couple weeks now. And so, Lots talked to, to them up. too long. Yeah, we're getting together with them tomorrow night, but we just, anyway. But Jason, here, you hold the camera. What do we got? What do we got? Um, tell them what you realized today while we walked into Costco. So, I remembered the short conversation. It's still a conversation. I don't care how short it was. Of what Dana thought would be a good Christmas present. What I asked for for my Christmas present. Well, you were, we were I, no, the last, not. we ended with like, yeah, I think we can make some of that happen. Let's look into it. Fantastic that you had that much of a recollection of the conversation after the fact. But it's like, I have to be in, I have to, something has to jar my memory of certain things. And I'm sorry. And that's annoying, especially when it comes to a Christmas present. I have to walk you into a store. Hey, does anything in here look familiar that I wanted to ask for for Christmas? That's awkward. That's stupid. You didn't have to walk me in. We were just in there and I thought, No, oh, you wait. saw it. I did see it. You and saw then, it. And then I was like, oh, yeah, okay, we have a conversation about that. You wouldn't have even thought about it had I not I mentioned it yesterday. I have been thinking about no, you what have it not. was. I, I've been constantly no, no, trying no. to figure out what it had is. Had I not called you out yesterday about it, you today, if you had walked into Costco, it wouldn't have occurred to you at all had I not brought it up last I don't know. night. I don't know. I'm not sure. Exactly. Well, I apologize, huh? We're here to get Kaylee from the high school. And I'm being nice enough to let her sit in the front seat. Because Miss Gimpy needs to straighten her leg out. Right? The tr that won't go in? Oh, look at that. Oh, got the this trunk is awesome. Whatever. So I'll just enjoy my seat from back here. Okay, no. hey, I got it. It's like an Uber driver situation. All right, we're here for the MRI. And uh, we won't get the results back until Monday. Today's Friday. And, um, oh, I need my shorts from the car. Oh, they're in the car? Uh, they're in my bag. <laughs> just shut. Yeah, they'll likely want you to change into shorts. You actually probably will put on a hospital gown, to be honest with you. Oh, I know. But... When was the last time you told me not to do something to not mess up my nails? I said it when you get your nails done, I say don't mess up your nails. He says it not even when I get my nails done. Cause I was opening a Coke and he's like, oh, don't mess up your nails. I take care of you just as much as I take care of the girls. Mm. Jacob thought it a little bit more on your, on their end. A little bit, but not that much. Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's all right. I'm starting to get used to it. Think I'll survive. I met you in the summer. <laughs> yeah, she's sitting in the front. She's your other girl. <laughs> it's okay, I'll sit in the back. So everything went, went okay? Yeah. You have been working hard. Let's see it. Let's see what you got here. Oh, all right. You're going to move it up there. Okay, you've been working hard. Show it to me. What you got? So this is what you made here, huh? Got my hat. And then all those little pieces. What you got there? This is for books, or in my case, notebooks, like for drawing. Back yeah. here is also for that, and then markers. Nice. This is so cool. I want to see it when you get everything on it. I took so long. All right, I'm gonna end our video tonight um, from the car. I just went driving with Abby. It is 8.45. We went driving a little after eight. Um, she, despite Jason wanting her <laughs> to drive my car, or his car, I let her drive the Tesla here. Uh, just because if she needs to learn how to drive it. If there's ever an emergency and um, 
if I get hurt and I'm driving it or if the car is you know parked here and it's behind I'm just in our driveway I can't show you that because it'll show our plates but you know it, she needs to learn how to drive it and so I took her driving and we went and got um, an ice cream cone at McDonald's and she got a sweet roll a uh, cinnamon roll and then took her driving on the highway and up and about Unfortunately, their homecoming game tonight was canceled due to air quality. The air quality got up to 172 at the high school and 180 here at our house. And in some areas um, in our town, it's up to 200. In the higher hills, it's um, up to 200. We are hoping, and I, given that I can kind of see the stars starting to come shine through, uh, we're hoping that the air quality is getting better tonight and we'll stay calmer in the morning even though it's projected to not be better tomorrow afternoon tomorrow night again uh ashley has a football game in the morning at nine and she's doing her halloween dance and she's doing stunting like throwing girls up in the air and <laughs> she's so excited she's the base for that and that's why she stayed home again today to just fully recover and not be sick tomorrow and so i pray that her game is not canceled uh, it's always better air quality here in the mornings, even when we do have smoke. And so I'm hoping that we can get that game in and then if the air quality gets bad, it can get bad. And that's fine. But just praying that that doesn't um, get canceled. But Kaylee was really bummed that they canceled the homecoming game. They had fireworks that they could throw, you know, shoot off. And so they just had the kids stay in their cars in the parking lot and they shot off the fireworks but I guess they have like a whole halftime show that they were supposed to do. And then they do like the color powder burst thingies where the kids all come onto the field and like get, I don't know, the color powder thingy all over them. And they have all the powder, but they haven't done it yet. And so they're hopefully going to reschedule the homecoming game for another night and then kind of do, redo the homecoming halftime and the whole color thing. Um, Abby was pretty bored or pretty annoyed that it was canceled because she was really looking forward to it. Kaylee and Jacob and all their friends went and found a hot tub. <laughs> they went to their friend's house um, and got into someone's hot tub for the evening um, just to try and, you know, have a good night. Which honestly, I think Jacob was secretly glad because I think he's kind of like, yeah, I'm kind of over high school things. <laughs> he doesn't mind hanging out with everyone from high school. Um, but this would have been his like fourth high school football game that he had, has gone to this year and he's technically graduated. And so I think he's kind of like, yeah, I'm kind of over it. Do you know what the weirdest thing with the Tesla is that it's still turned on. The air is still turned on. If I had music on, the music would still be playing and I've gotten out of the car. I haven't turned it off, but then the second it's dark, but the second you're out and you walk away, it's still on. I'm just gonna stand here. I have to walk away from it. And it'll just click off. Come on. Click off. I don't know how long it takes, but it's the strangest thing. Oh, there it is. You heard it. Oh! His first question was, did you let Abby drive? <laughs> did, she needs to know how to drive it. I know, I, I saw where you went, and so I could- He's a stalker. He is a stalker. Docker, when I am driving this car, it's just ridiculous. He, he texts me, he's like, oh, I see you went to McDonald's. <laughs> it's like worse than my phone location. He never cared about my phone location before, ever. But now that he has a pretty Tesla, he's like, where are you going? Cause it's dark, dude. It is dark. Okay, let's go charge it. This is where my heart is, oh you know it's true No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you 